Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Sevierville, Tennessee. We're very excited to be bringing you guys to... The Diner. The Diner. So their appetizers are called munchies and crunchies. I love it. There's an appetizer combo, cheese sticks, buffalo wings, zucchini bites, chili cheese fries, and here are the soup and salad options to choose from. And that chili looks pretty good as well. So here is the menu. Here are the burgers that they have available. Down here are the Cadillac burgers. They have a Sedan DeVille, a Black and Blue, an El Dorado. And down here are the Extraordinary Burgers. So lots of burgers on the menu. They even have the diner's Honest A Burger, which is a combination of Angus beef, buffalo, and elk. Over here are some different types of sandwiches, such as a chicken cordon bleu, or you can get a Reuben. Now here's a Philly cheesesteak. They have catfish, grilled ham and cheese. And here are the favorites, spaghetti and a baked chicken pie. Right here, they have country fried steaks, vegetable platters, sirloin steak. And here are the sides, as well as the kids menu over to the right. And they do serve Pepsi products. All right, Gentry, what'd you end up getting there? I got garlic bread with spaghetti. And Jennifer. I got the catfish, and it comes with coleslaw and french fries, but I stepped out turnip greens and fried green tomatoes. And then you can pick your bread, and I got hush puppies, and these look so good. And it looks like Henry's already digging in. <laughs> Henry got the spaghetti there. And that garlic bread looks exceptional. All right, Bert, what did you get? So I ended up getting the Fleetwood. The Fleetwood had a choice of different cheeses. I ended up getting cheddar cheese. It has applewood smoked bacon, a fried egg, and there is a massive burger. It also comes with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and I got a side, a potato salad. And then over here, I got some fried okra. Oh, but it looks like you have an onion ring on top of your hamburger. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. Wow. It also comes with onion rings. So, I did not eat much at all today. <laughs> In fact, um, I intentionally, I had like a very small breakfast burrito, and I intentionally held off just for this meal right here. So, I, I, I hope that this is going to be as good as I think it's going to be. All right, so I'm going to dig into mine. First off, I want to show you how big these catfish fillets are. And it looks like it's nice and thin batter, not too thick. And there are two of them, and they're about the same size. And then these look really delicious. Can't wait to dig into those turnip greens. And then I subbed out some fried green tomatoes also. Um, one thing to note, if you do sub out a side for these, uh, the fried green tomatoes are a dollar extra. And they also give you some sauce. So I got ranch with it. And then look at these awesome hush puppies. They look really, really good. All right, Jennifer, how is the turnip greens? How are the turnip greens? They're really good. They're really good and tender and just perfectly seasoned. They don't really need anything. I also just tried the fish. It's so good and flaky, and it's seasoned perfectly as well. It's not too salty or anything. Got a light batter on there. Really tasty. I'm, I'm normally, I'm a cornmeal batter person for catfish, but this, whatever this batter is, it's really, really tasty. It's like more of a flour batter, but I really like it. So I want to kind of deconstruct this here. You can see the cheese, the onion rings, the egg. And look at how well seasoned, look at how well seasoned that hamburger patty is with the grill marks. First bite, here we go. It's a very good burger. It is monstrous as far as the size. Um, I am gonna put some ketchup and mustard on it though. It does need a little bit of ketchup and mustard, but the seasoning is good. So I just tried the fried green tomatoes and they're really good. You can taste like the zestiness of the green tomato. And then this one has a cornmeal batter that's really, really tasty. I want to point out there's also a pickle spear back here. So here is the potato salad. You can see the potato skins on here, which leads me to believe this is more than likely house-made. Here we go. The potato salad is good. It's very creamy. It uh, is definitely a mayonnaise-based potato salad, and I, I do enjoy it. And last, 
I'm gonna try some of the fried okra. Here we go. Look at how big that fried okra is. It's a very good okra, very fresh. The batter doesn't really have any seasoning to it or anything, but the, the okra inside the breading is just so fresh, so good. All right, Jaytree, how's the spaghetti? It is outstanding. How are you liking your spaghetti, Yes, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open up one of these for you. So it looks like the hush puppies are more of like a flower base and it looks like there's some herbs, maybe some onion and uh, maybe some celery or peppers in there. So these are really good. They're, um, these are more of like a bread, but they're good. It's just not, it's not like what I'm used to for a hush puppy. It's not like a cornmeal batter. It's more of a flour, but it is tasty. And we didn't make it to dessert, but they do have some pies here. And they're going for $4.95 a piece. And there's some pudding and cobbles. Got some Willie Nelson on the jukebox. Got up here some old Waylon and Johnny Cash. Back here you got Bob Wills. And Patsy Klein and Loretta Lynn. That was the diner. Henry, what do you think about the diner? My nose was good, but I still got them on the table, and I picked them up with my spoon, or with my <laughs> fork, and uh, it was good. If you come here, then you're going to get noodles. Okay, get the spaghetti, right? What about the garlic bread? Yeah, that was good. I just dipped it in Mommy's ranch. You dipped it in some ranch, didn't you? And Gentry. I really like the spaghetti and the garlic bread was outstanding. Nice. And Jennifer. I thought it was really great. The sweet tea, really good here. Sweet tea alert. And also uh, the fish was really good. I'm normally a cornmeal batter uh, fish fan and this was like a very light breading. It was flour that was seasoned and everything and it was very, very good. The fish was cooked perfectly. It was flaky and moist, and then the batter was just perfect as well. Uh, that was my favorite part of my whole meal was the fish. So we have now been to all three of the diners here in this local area. And while this was not my favorite, I did really enjoy the potato salad. Now there's another diner where I've had the best potato salad in the Smoky Mountain area. And if you guys have watched that video, it's a, it was Mel's Diner. And so uh, we may even do a comparison video with Mel's Diner, the Sunliner Diner, and here, because there were some things here that were a little bit better, like the bacon here, for example, is very crispy. The applewood bacon, very crispy, very good. The onion rings were delicious. Uh, the seasoning on the burger was pretty good. Uh, but there were some other things that were a little bit better at the other diners. I will say that uh, overall, it's very inexpensive. We paid I think a little over $50 for four people, including drinks, so not too bad at all. But if you guys are here in, in Sevierville, it's worth a stop. There are a couple of other diners here locally that you can also check out as well, and we're gonna place some links in the description below to those different diners that we have reviewed in the past. And guys, we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday.